education is the only conveyance, the only vehicle that can bring about the big change. My dear boys and girls, India is on the rise as never before. We are resisting progress the world has never seen before. Our rise is unstoppable. Tripura is part of it, I have seen it. Only a few months back, we became the fifth largest global economy. And beating whom? Our erstwhile colonial rulers. By end of this decade, we will be the third largest global economy. All this on one count. Our human genius, our education. And that is why we salute the vision of the Prime Minister, who after 34 years thought it wise and rightly so to have a new national education policy. I was involved with the evolution of the policy as governor state of West Bengal. And you cannot imagine inputs were secured from lakhs of sources. All stakeholders were on board. And this national education policy is a milestone achievement, a game changer. This allows everyone to exploit talent and potential to the best of abilities. During my brief stay here for a few hours, <coughs> three things have impressed me. One, warmth of the people. Their love and affection for us. Sparkle in their eyes. Two, construction activity was in progress wherever I noticed. And third, God has been very kind to Tripura. God has gifted Tripura the scenic beauty, gift of nature. I have no doubt under the vision of your honorable Chief Minister, education sector will flourish as never before. Tripura is a land of vibrant culture, rich cultural heritage. It has glorious history. And one of the fundamentals and a pillar of policy of the Honorable Prime Minister, when he became Prime Minister in 2014, he declared to the entire country, look east, act east. This is in action, this is in function. My dear boys and girls, you will be happy to note that there is a new ministry and that is the ministry for the East. Development parameters are taking place in a manner where there is separate location to the East. This Blue East policy is now getting beyond the frontiers of our country and I noticed it during my first foreign visit to Cambodia. And in the eastern part of this country, Tripura stands out. Mati Pursundri and Sundarta of Tripura in every angle. I am very confident that everyone here will realize the very thoughtful motto this college has. Vidya Amrattam Aswanyatu. Knowledge is the key to immortality. And this immortality drives humanity. I can tell you, boys and girls, there was a time when if a young impressionable mind got an idea, it was difficult to practice that idea in action. But now, the government policies have changed. 
if you have an idea in your mind, you can go for a startup. They are functioning very well. They are changing our economic ecosystem. I can report you. And you'll be happy to know it. In 2022, the number of unicorns with fiscal dimension of more than will begin. India is at number one. No country in the world is matching progress of India. Just imagine where are we now? In the entire world, our voice is heard with respect. In the entire world, the fact that we are an Indian, we have a different stature. Take two illustrations. One, the entire humanity suffered at the hands of pandemic COVID. India is a large country. More than 1.3 billion people. Two doses would mean 2.6 billion. A booster would mean we'll have to close 3 billion. My dear boys and girls, India has done it successfully. More than 3 billion vaccine doses. And something which even the West is started. Every such vaccination dose is duly available by a digital certificate on your mobile. A scene that is eluding even the West. That is our achievement. From 1st April 2020, the central government has a scheme which is in execution even now. And that execution is that every needy household has rice and cereal and pulse. And this facility is being given to more than 800 million people, more than 80 crore people. The world cannot match these figures. Look all around what education has done and what it will do. There is no global outfit in the world that does not have an Indian at the top. We are contributing. This is time for us to be proud of Bharat. This is time for us to contribute to the growth of Bharat. Tripura has enormous potential also in agriculture. It can show light in organic farming. And I have no doubt the kind of passion and mission which your Chief Minister has, you are on way to that trajectory. I was so happy to see the small field. I noticed the figures. I noticed the growth statistics. And I have no doubt the conclusion that was indicated in the sphere of education, the growth trajectory of Tripura will be ever upwards. I share the aspirations of the people of Tripura. I share their dream. And like every Bharti, our dream is we were world group. We were at number one. We shall be at number one. We are on becoming at number one. And this is for the first time the voice of Indian Prime Minister is being heard by everyone in the globe. When he made a declaration while taking the presidentship of G20, war is no solution these days. A statement emanated from the Prime Minister of Bharat, the largest democracy, the land of Mahatma Gandhi, and the entire world heard it. Those of you who are involved in foreign affairs must be very delighted to see that our foreign policy is only Bharat-centric. Our foreign policy is interest of Bharat. Our foreign policy is interest of every Bharat and Bharatiyata. And the world is falling in line. 
when we have this ecosystem evolving, when every young mind, boy and girl, has opportunities available, the rise of heart will be as ever, as never before. I can tell you one thing. I have seen it with my own eyes. The respect outside world has for India. It was never before. The very fact that I was on my two foreign visits as Vice President of India mattered to everyone. I have been abroad during my career of more than three decades to more than three dozen countries. The change which I have seen with my own eyes, I have no doubt. Future of every boy and girl is assured. You devote to the welfare of your country. You stand committed to our values. You will be contributing to the rise of Bharat. I am extremely happy and delighted to be amongst you all. My first visit has been made memorable by two reasons. One, we felt blessed by having Darshan of Ma Tirpur Sundri. And two, to have interface with those who have potential and capacity to change Bharat and make it Vishwaguru. I live with a thought. And that thought is meant for my young boys and girls. Our constitution has a provision of fundamental rights. But there is a new part of the constitution also. Fundamental duties. I appeal to all of you. You will turn out to be better citizens of this country. You will catalyze a good ecosystem. ecosystem. Once you follow yourself, the fundamental duties given in the constitution and also ensure that others equally follow that. I have no doubt my advice will be well taken by you. And I am requesting your Honorable Chief Minister that the infrastructure at Mati Pursundi, which is grandiose, which is huge, which is very well thought out, which will give the place a new, new semblance of religiosity, where it is fructified, I will again visit this place. And I am told it will happen before Dipavali because on Dipavali lakhs of people go to that place to get blessings of Ma Tirpur Sundi. Thank you.